day for the beach. Hmm. Looks like everybody else had the same idea. <sighs> One instant parking spot coming up. Maker to be ah! Hold it right there, rule breaking beach goer! Code 1175B strictly forbids the use of sharp objects on my beach. And this umbrella definitely qualifies as. Hmm. Huh. I must have gotten the point. Ha! Point! I love it. Nothing like a good yuck on the beach! Point! Ah! No wonder no one uses this beach. Hey! What gives you, helmet-headed beach nut? Well, if it isn't the feather brain funster himself! I want my stuff back. You dig? According to my beach safety standards, your surfboard is too long. It's a hazard to swimmers. My longboard! Ah, a riptide could wash you straight out to sea in one of these. And my beach rules clearly state sunscreen must have UVA, UVB protection of 500 or more. But don't worry, I've got the ultimate sun protection just for you! Big surfing competition is about to begin! Oh, Cowabunga! That does it! I came to the beach to have fun! Ranger Meanie or no Ranger Meanie? I've got you now, Woodpecker! Uh oh, that surf sheriff's gonna come after me for sure! But she won't be on the lookout for a Hawaiian woodpecker. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Would I get my hands on that? Yes! Yow! Hey, no hitchhiker. Hey, that's no Hawaiian surfer, dude! You're gonna snarf the competition for sure. Say, this is kind of... What, what, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Fun? Fun! Yeah! Yeah! Oh no! Ho oh, ho! Let's hang some beef! What? Ten fun-loving.
flying monster. It's unanimous. The woodpecker and the ranger are today's winners. Ow! Mine. It's mine. It's mine. I've never won anything in my life. Okay, whatever you say. Say, hey, fellas, have you met Meanie, the greatest new surfer on the beach? Ow! Why? Well, I... Well, yes, I am. Hey, Meanie, show us that gnarly screaming banshee move. Oh, oh yeah. my. <laughs> Who should I take first? Pick Mo here. Like, Eenie, Eenie, pick Mo. Me, Miney. Oh, together that makes us Eeny, Meeny, Miney, and Mo. <laughs> Get it? <Whoa. laughs> Never mind. Just walk with me and look good. <laughs> Tomorrow I may even try one of those new fangled bathing suits when I surf. <laughs> Keep your eyes on me, boys. Oh, I'm just a fun fanatic. Woo! -hoo! Mama likes. Yeah. <laughs> Beavers building dams. Check. Frogs setting lily pads. Check. Woodpeckers wasting their lives. Check. What? How's it going, Woody? Well, it's about two degrees too hot, and I haven't had a nibble all day. Oh, I can take care of that. Ah! Yeah! Your file shows over 3,000 infections in the last six months, Woody. You're in grave danger of being replaced in the natural order. Replaced? Yes. I have no choice now but to send you to my Woodland Institute for retraining. So, you're the new kid in school. Did you do your homework? Homework? <laughs> Who needs homework? Teacher, teacher, the new student doesn't have his homework. But I do. The way you're achieving, Woodrow, perhaps you'll take the place of one particular woodpecker who seems to need more time in school. But I don't need more time. I'm ready to get back out there now. Please, Mother Nature, I've learned my lesson. Then you'll have no problem proving that, will you, Woody? Whoever does better in their assignments today will graduate and get the slot. We'll begin with the Woodpecker Basics, Tree Pecking 101. Yeah. Woodrow, buddy, what are you doing? I am merely selecting the straightest, tallest trees to peck. Chapter 79. Ah, oh, schmucks. Listen up, listen good. I'm the voice of experience. You gotta peck so many trees a day out there in the real world. There's only one way a woodpecker can ever get that job done. With the woodpecker's friend. <gasps> it's... It's beautiful. What is it? Look at me, Woody. Woodrow, I think this tree's a winner. Would you shut your eyes on that strapping sapling? <laughs> yep, you're a natural, Woodrow. A natural sap. <laughs> Thanks so much, Woody. <sighs> Why, Woody, you've done an amazing job on this tree. You get an A. <gasps> oh, my. This could be a keeper. Oh, here is a superb sapling. Woodrow gets an F for goofing off. And the unauthorized use of power tools. F for goofing off? Well, it's down to business for this woodpecker. I'll get an A in advanced food gathering. All it takes is knowledge, strategy, and a pizza parlor that delivers. Oh. Fruit of the old pizza tree, Woodrow? <laughs> I don't recall a pizza tree. 
What are you up to now, Woodpecker? You trying to get me in trouble again? Wardrobe, you gotta stop being so suspicious of everything. Do you think Mother Nature would have grown this stuff if she didn't want us to enjoy it? I tell you, it's a big, beautiful world out there. I'm just trying to open the pantry door for you. Well... <laughs> you probably want to wash that down with a delicious sod soda. This stuff is delicious. Why didn't we learn about these in school? Uh, I can open up a whole new world of things you'll never learn in books, Woodrow. <laughs> a hundred pounds of wholesome goodness, Mother Nature. You get an A again, Woody. But it appears Woodrow is nowhere near ready for the outside world. Another F. F stands for food. Thank you. I will have some more. All right, you two. For your final exam, use this lumber to build a proper birdhouse. And you must work together. What? Work with him? Teamwork is an essential part of the natural order. You know that, Woody. <sighs> Handle it, Woody. I'm going to catch a few rays. You're helping me, Buster, because if we don't get this done, I'm going to have to stay here forever. I can't be bothered. I already got two Fs. Besides, everything I need is right here. Pizza trees, shod soda, jackhammers. This is your life. I don't care if I ever graduate. <laughs> It's woodpeckers like you that give the rest of us a bad name, Bob. Because there's nothing wrong with a little hard work once in a while. It builds character. And if there's one thing you lack, mister, it's character. Lazy, good-for-nothing woodpecker. Woody! Woodrow! Here I come! Yay! Mother Nature! Why, Woody, it's... It's breathtaking. No thanks to teacher's pet over there. Yes. Well, I'm afraid Woodrow's going to be staying here at the Academy for a while yet. And, uh, what about me? Uh -huh. Yes, good. Well, I can see you're ready to leave. Yippee! I'm gonna graduate! Woohoo! Now get out there and work, 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 Woody. Oh, you bet I will, Mother Nature. I never want to have to go to school with him again. Is he gone? All gone. And you were magnificent. It sure wasn't easy acting lazier than Woody Woodpecker. Whoosh. But it worked like a charm. Now for our next two hard cases. <laughs> Welcome to the Woodland Institute for Retraining. Institute. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Square boy, she's going with me. I know. <laughs> we'll all go together. We'll go in my car. I'll talk to you for it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, cornball. Here, we go in my car. Sails away from you, just stop, stop, stop. Isn't he just the most crazy? Ah, uh, he's nowhere. sugar and a banana split for me. season. And there's my favorite sight. Bird watchers, all here to see me. Oh, I love well, this. Maybe Listen up, fellow candy. bird watchers. I'm so Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> On today's outing, we won't bother with any of our usual bird pictures. Instead, our favorite magazine is offering a $500 prize for the best photograph of the rare spring-footed speckle-headed woodpecker. Step lively, fellow birders. Oh, watch out. That's going to be my prize. Oh, oh that woodpecker. Be careful, birders. The forest is fraught with peril. Mm-mm. I love being the center of attention. Take all the pictures you want of this good-looking woodpecker. Hey, what am I, molting here? This is the best photo op of the day. Ah, oh, playing hard to get, huh? Oh. 
All right. That does it. Now remember, bird watchers, don't trip over anyone as you rush off to get your best shot of the rare spring-footed speckle-headed woodpecker. And remember the $500 prize. Oh, oh that woodpecker is as good as Well, what do you know? If there's 500 smackaroonies for a photo of a woodpecker, who knows woodpeckers better than another woodpecker? Namely me. <laughs> the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker is the court jester of the bird kingdom. It hops around with a wild cackle. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Why, I'd know that bird call anywhere. It's the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker. Now to find the picture-perfect imposter pose. <laughs> oh, fiddle-faddle, I missed. Spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpeckers build intricate homes designed after famous landmarks they have visited during migration. <laughs> 500 buckaroos, here I come. Oh, speckle-head! Whoops and such. You're really starting to coil my springs, bub. Cheese and crackers, I've got the shot. Chips and dip, I say not. Oops, I missed. Now, get lost before I... Whoops and such. Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> you, uh, looking for a good shot? Take this. <laughs> I, Fessel Featherborn, always get my bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you're getting right now is my goat, genius. So you can see, the mating rituals of the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker are varied, unpredictable, and have never been caught on film. Until now. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Stop! Get back! Vessel! Help! Say, are you looking for the love of your life? It's time to play Crossbreed! Will you choose bachelor number one? Bachelor number two. Or bachelor number three. is amazing. An amazing fake. <laughs> I know a spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker when I see one. And you are no spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker. You're nothing but a fake, and you are not getting the prize money. <laughs> yeah. Say, wait one picture flashing minute. So, you like to kiss me, do you? <laughs> then have I got a deal for you. Step right up and get a genuine photo of the speckle-headed woodpecker. Only $5. Oh, the Step right up.
Prepare to measure race car speed. Ignition. <laughs> A new home for my Swedish petunias to bloom. <laughs> Yoinky doinky, my bloomers. <laughs> what do you think you're doing with all that noise and the kerplunking all over the yard? We're trying to make a race car, Wally. For the neighborhood soapbox power derby. A car race? Hmm. Is it for kids only, or can anyone enter? The only rule is the car has to be naturally powered, so you gotta. Yeah, 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 whatever. This is a dream coming true here. Get out of my yard now, you two! Out! What's with him? <laughs> Who cares? Come on, we got work to do. Oh, all the glory, all the fame of my childhood racing days. Mm. Now I can complete my display with one more first prize ribbon. <laughs> This super slick oil ought to make our racer go fast, Splinter. Yeah, that and a fourth wheel. Hmm, those kids look smarter than I first thought. But Volley Forrest knows a trick or two or three or four to get the edge on the competition, you bet. <laughs> oh, Woodpeckers! I have a spare wheel you can have for your little race car. Catch! <laughs> Gee, thanks, Wally. Now, let's just see how fast the competition. Yeah! Ah! No! What a wild goose chase that was. Yeah. Ugh, no wheel anywhere. Yeah! <gasps> <laughs> Looks like we've got competition, Nuthead. <laughs> you call that competition? Better keep our race car secret secret, just in case. The greasy wheel is gonna squeak ahead and win the blue ribbon for me, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> I better get a closer look at what's in that can. <laughs> Swamp gas should supercharge our racer real good. Hey, Splinter, what's that smell? It's too yummy to be swamp gas. Oh, it's Wally's famous Swedish meatball s'mores. He probably left them out there for us. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Mm. It's too dark. I'll just... No! Oh, burn. Nighead, you think Wally here's trying to sabotage us? Insert tubing A into pipe fitting C. Check. With Tri Tank Toilet Water Powered Booster Capabilities. Shh! It's that Wiener Wally again. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> the big idea? Uh, the, the big idea. I tell you the big idea. I am going to win that race, and so I get to know what you got planned for. <gasps> it's beautiful. Double overhead water cans. If it. Get out of our garage, Wally! But I will now build a better one! <laughs> yeah, build this! <laughs> I am Wally Forrest, one time Swedish champion. I have come to regain my former glory. On your mark, get set, go! Bye.
Congratulations, Splinter and Knothead. You are this year's winners. Look out below! Whoa! Ooh. Hiya, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I still have no ribbon to fill that last space in my trophy cabinet. <laughs> well, you do now, Wally. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> There's always next year, Wally. <laughs> Where the sand meets its dune. Well, if it ain't cheap red corpuscle. Heat wave continues. Crops ruined unless we get rain. The chief isn't going to like this. Looks like this big rainmaker is going to be in trouble. You make them rain quick or else. Okay, Chief. <laughs> I do the. Wanted. Well, I guess Chief Rain in the Face had enough. Well, if it isn't Tommy Hawk and his five scalpers. Why the grief, Chief? Rainmaker? Am I a rainmaker? Am I a rainmaker? Get a load of this, Chief. Me, Tommy Hawk, me got him very skookum swing band. Oh, swing it, oh, me play him swing. And make him cloud in the sky. My boogie beat, it make him thunder, make him lightning. Yeah, lightning. Me beat them read, me think me very hip guy. Me beat them cymbal, me beat them drum. They keep big jives so the storms will come. 
Me make a much rain, me flood the place. A papa was a chieftain on his rain in the face. <laughs> Keep them little raindrops dancing. Me make them rain, that make them corn grow again. enough melons from his ears to feed a small farming community. Now back to our number one show, how to train any dog using nothing more than big chunks of very expensive meat. <laughs> I'm here with Smedley, the world's most renowned dog trainer, who claims he can train any dog to do anything he asks. Yes, ma'am. Allow me to demonstrate my patented positive reward system. <laughs> <laughs> Little canine friend, how's about I give you a big chunk of very expensive meat? <laughs> but first, can you give me the square root of pi? <laughs> Why, that's doggone astounding! Yup, there ain't a smarter critter alive than a well-trained dog. Mm-hmm. After that interview, the world will surely be the path to my doggy door. <laughs> Always remember, dog lovers, a busy dog is a happy dog. <laughs> Fetch, little feller. It's like my Uncle Lucius always said, if you love something, let it go. Cause a good dog will always bring it back. Good dog. Hold on one flea flecking minute. Now you get back here, you little prime rib raider, you. You're no doggy. You're a penguin. Huh? Mm-mm-mm. Now that's just downright cold. Someone should train you to have better manners. But it's not gonna be me. <laughs> it's a well-known fact that dog is man's best friend. As such, he must learn to share the same interests as his master. Take, for example, my deep abiding interest in the art of dance. Uh -oh. This here is a tutu for you, you. <laughs> Dancers are always a little high strung before a performance. Now see here, until you are willing to do as I say, there will be no more rewards. Is that clear as ice? You go on outside and think it over. 
When you come back, I want to hear music are playing and your JT are swaying. <laughs> Atlantic Ocean. That there is music to a dog trainer's ears. Nothing more effective than a well-trained dog to protect your domicile. Go mine the perimeter, and when you return, this here reward has got your name on it, Ace. Yes, sir. With a well-trained guard dog, any home is safe from a penguin break-in. One incorrigible little critter, huh? We're here for a follow-up interview with the world's most famous dog trainer. <laughs> I'm always happy to oblige the media. We hear you're branching out. You've trained dogs, and now you plan to train penguins. Is that true? <laughs> it's true, folks, and there's a penguin to prove it. No, I absolutely have not trained this penguin, dog nabbit. No, oh, then we're going to see an exclusive on our program. Think of the ratings. Think of the customers you'll get out of this. <sighs> I guess sometimes you're the alpha dog, and sometimes you're the bone. What's he going to do next, Smedley? Oh, I can't even imagine. Follow him! I guess, left to their own devices, some critters are a whole lot smarter than we ever give them credit for. Woof, 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 wow! Hollywood, yeah, I got a feeling this is my kind of town. Congratulations! What's your name and where are you from, tourist? Uh, <laughs> uh Woody Woodpecker, uh, from out of town. Well, uh, guess what? You're our one billionth customer! And you've just won the ultimate Hollywood star treatment! <laughs> Stand right here like I'm taking your picture, Twiggy. Okay. I'm casing the joint behind you. Just stand still. Ah! Hey! Watch where you're going, you gold bricker! You mean this mansion's mine? Really mine? You'll stay here as part of your prize package. And later this afternoon, you'll even get to take a big-time Hollywood screen test! Tweaky old chum, ditch the map. We just found our own shortcut to the stars. <laughs> no doubt about it. I was born to be a Hollywood star. Good day, chum. Yeah! Buzz Buzzard, resident of Bodyguards by Buzz. 
Maybe I should hire you to protect me from you. What are you doing in my pool, you nut job? Making the point that you, sir, are vulnerable. Vulnerable to what? Well, as Hollywood's hottest new celebrity, you need protection from, say, your uh, perchance, uh, crazed autograph hounds. Crazed autograph hounds? Why, yes. I said crazed autograph hounds. Oh, oh, it's the mansion of that famous new star, Hollywoody the Woodpecker. I am a crazy fan. Let Buzz Buzzard's protection racket, uh, I mean service, protect you from this fanatical fan, Mr. Woodpecker. Mr. Woodpecker! Can I have you? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Uh, who knew being a star was so dangerous? And with my special new celebrity offer, I only charge you per life saving. Okay, okay. But I pay you after I've made it safely through my screen test this afternoon. So, those two Hollywood hustlers think I just fell off a turnip truck, do they? We'll see who the real sucker is around here. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Buzzard, I'm going outside for my first TV interview. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Woodpecker. You simply can't go out there. The media pretends like they're giving you a nicety nice interview, but they are secretly sending one of their popcorn arazzi types in the back way to dig up your private toy. I feel so, so vulnerable, Mr. Buzzard. Do what you must. Okay, Tweaky. All we gotta do is make like I'm chasing you out. Get back here, you snake in the grass! Stay away! Hide me and I'll have bitches! Get back here, you, you little vagrant! Time to give these two their big Hollywood break. Camera, action, lights! Oh, my God! Oh, that Woody Woodpecker, his first day in Hollywood, and just look at this wild, wild party! He's putting the tinsel back in Tinseltown with his Hollywood bad boy ways. Do it the way I showed you, Tweaky. It's almost time for his screen test and our payday. Oh, well, but I don't know nothing about being an actor, boss. Pardon my interruption, Mr. Woodpecker, but my sources indicate a disgruntled star is planning to sabotage your screen test. He could be lurking anywhere. <sighs> sabotage my screen test? But why? I am Reginald Linsgors, Hollywood's most jealous and fading movie star. And you, sir, are about to become Birdseed. <laughs> Have no fear. Bodyguards by Buzz is here. Ready for your screen test, Mr. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. They're, uh, helping me with my screen test. Keep this baby rolling. Oh, 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 Jungle, what are you to the rescue? Take one. <laughs> Time to scram. Magnificent stupendous. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I hate scary movies. You were last, Twiggy. He's just acting. He can't ah! stop us. Come on. Oh, yes. They flee. But can they escape? Ah! 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 Woody Blackbell will defend my honor. And make you pay for kicking me. Brilliant, Sacco Buffo, Woody, you're gonna be Hollywood's biggest star. Not a money way, you dish rag. Let me out of here. <laughs> I want to sign you to a seven-year deal worth millions. You'll never stop working in this town. Just come to the studio, and we'll do everything you just did over again, and we'll make it your first motion picture. Woody wins Hollywood! What? Do that all over again? And never stop working? 
Are you nuts? Forget this star stuff. I'd have to be crazy to work this hard every day. No, come back. My career is in your hands. Think of the fame, the adoring fans, the autograph hounds. <laughs> Now hear this. Meskat, attention. Meskat, sleeping again. Ah. You are a fine watchdog. I ought to feed you to the shark. Now I am going ashore. And do not let nobody aboard this ship. Nobody. And if you do, I'll right in the kisser. I'm so very unhappy, I don't know what to do. My head is hot, my feet are cold. Two, I'm so very unhappy, there's only green for you. I'm frozen stiff as a piece of ice. I'd like to be a camel and feel the desert breezes. I know I'd never have a cold, a camel never sneezes. Well, this is not the life for me. I shake until I'm blue. My nose is red, my tail is cold. Oh,